Welcome back guys, so I'm here with another flip through and today's flip through is the new Ken Matsuda colouring book. I, like so many others, was in, was enabled by Connie to get this book. I got it from Stationery Corner here in the U in the UK. Uh, Jessica is a fantastic uh, store to deal with and she got me this one. Uh, I think the cover literally translates as Ken Matsuda's colouring book. So that's what these what Google told me. So let's dive right in. And it is a total of top, top quality. I mean, it's bound beautifully. It's got the dust jacket. And here's an example of Ken's art. The examples are printed on a um, slightly glossy paper. I'll give you plenty of inspiration for what's in the book. Uh, here's illustration style is supposed to sort of show the symbiosis of animals and plants in vivid colours. And you can definitely see that from these examples. Here he, there's a quick sort of step by step on how to achieve some of the colouring. He's clearly using watercolour and coloured pencil. And then we get into the book itself. So whilst those first pages are on this glossy paper, um, this is matte paper. It feels like it's got some tooth. It reminds me of the paper in Kanoko Goose's books. I think it's slightly thicker though. It's a slightly off-white. It's an axolotl. And a little frog and look, a little tadpole. I love the iguan in here with these beautiful flowers. I can tell you probably all the animals in here. Don't ask me about the flowers. That's a type of um, salamander, I suspect. That's a type of goldfish. Love the big, big bug eyes. Oh, this gecko. Shannon's done this gecko beautifully. Oh, so this is either um, a baby crocodile or it's a baby caiman. Love, love this image. I think this is the one that uh, Zucchini Kitty is currently doing. Tortoise is a beautiful acer. I grow aces in my garden. They are fantastic trees. The pig shell did this. Love this one. So cute. Gorgeous elephant. Another sleeping fox. Oh. With what look to be maybe poppies. Very pretty. Oh, kitty cat. Just koala. I did not know koala caught claws are that long. Yeesh. Must be a helping climb. Oh, this is a wolf. Probably a grey wolf. That's gorgeous. This is a fennec fox with roses. Actually, because fennec foxes live in the desert, I would immediately look up desert roses and desert sort of plant life. That's beautiful. Uh, manatee with what look like king penguins. Gold, there's goldfish. Koi carp. Oh, ladybug. We call them ladybirds here in the UK, but I know ladybug is what the Americans call them. Love the stars. Gosh, these lilies are fantastic. 
Callum Chat with Sammy and Wilson, Heather Wilson have done fantastic versions of this beautiful. Uh, I think it's a bee, might be a wasp. Mm, finding Nemo vibes with the clownfish. There's Dory. Connie's done this one beautifully. This is a male house sparrow, British house sparrow. Mm. That could be a harpy eagle. Reminds me of one. It's a beautiful hummingbird. The rooster page is fantastic. Oh, I've seen, seen this one done quite a bit. That must be very popular. This one is a kingfisher. This is a British kingfisher. This is the page I'm considering doing first in here. Uh, the colours of the kingfisher, these beautiful metallic blues, oranges. And I think that would contrast really well with... I think those look like azalea flowers. That's a kestrel. I've seen kestrels where I live. Lots of them hunting around here. Mix of birds here, but this is a perfect page for Christmas because there's holly, there's snowflakes. I'm not quite sure what those birds might be. This is a very lovely tropical parakeet. Ah, oh, some geese. I think that's a turkey. Ah, the only thing I noticed about this last page is it's the glossy paper. It's not, it's not the colouring paper. Yeah, because the images are on the back. So that page, I don't think you could colour. Which is a bit of a shame. Never mind. And then here you've got the reference images of Ken's work. So you can either use these colours for inspiration, you could try copying them, or you could do totally your own thing. This is his first colouring book, but, I, but he is a very popular illustrator, I think, in Japan. So I wouldn't be surprised if he did another one. I mean, his work is a little bit similar to Kirby's. In the sort of this metamorphosis and symbiosis style. That might be what they are. Not sure. Could be it could be an American bird. British birds I'm good with. Not necessarily all the ones on the continent. And that is it. So that is just it's a very different book. But it is beautiful quality. And I cannot wait to colour in it. Thanks for watching guys.